on and we get set for the gold medal match in the mixed team competition. And this gold medal match will pit the team from the United States against the team from France. And it's the Americans first out. Rio Wild following his teammate Jamie Van Atta. And they'll be on target number one. On target number two on your right, Pascal Lebec and Dominique Genet. So the French getting fired up here in Shanghai, cheering on their teammates. First look though at Jamie Van Atta and Rio Wild. They won a close quarterfinal match by one point over Venezuela and then took a two point win over Mexico in the semifinals to reach this gold medal match. Rio doffing his cap to the crowd here. And for the French, it's Pascal Lebec on the left and Dominique Genet. The French had a clear-cut victory over Lithuania in the elimination rounds, had their way with Australia, winning by five points, and then beat their friends from across the channel, from across the pond, by six. And they are in this gold medal match. So Venata and Wild taking on Lebec and Genet. Should be a good one as they vie for the gold here in Shanghai. And it's not just the medals, it's also those World Cup points that are at stake. You picked up, what, 25 yesterday? Um, honestly, I don't know what the point system looks yeah. like. <laughs> I probably well, should. That's something you might want to keep track of. Might want to check that one. Yeah. So the horn blasts and we're set to go. And Jamie Van Atta, who won two gold medals in Shanghai, three altogether last fall. Good shot. So the good shot to get the Americans off to a good start and Rio Wild, who took me to that exact spot yesterday and showed me the difference in the wind conditions compared to where the French team is standing right now. And it was noticeable. That's it, that's an X. Good shot. Active. Yeah. And you know, Rio and Jamie are obviously very, very accomplished Adam. archers, and you know, the French team has a lot of experience on this, their side as well. Monsieur Genet. Hey, Pascal. With his first shot. It didn't show up on the screen a moment ago, but uh, trust us. It was two tens for the United States to get the match started. An eight, though, for France by Genet. And now Pascal Lebec with a 10. Right, Pascal. So Pascal with the bullseye on her first shot. But the Americans quickly off to a two-point lead. Cumulative scoring, once again, four ends in the mixed team competition. Each arrow, or each archer, I should say, shooting two arrows per end. Let's go, Rio, you got plenty of time. And Van Atta, just a little bit off to the right. Scores a nine on that shot. The 38-year-old Real Wild from Pocatello, Idaho, almost dead center. Good job, guys. So far, so good for Team USA. Dominique Genet. I had him. Inside the center ring. Hey, Pascal. He's got to feel good about that, getting back on track. But even with a bullseye right here by Pascal Lebec, the French would still be trailing by one. However, it would cut into the American lead. Five. And it's an eight. When you reach this point in this level, you cannot be shooting eights, can you, Jacob? Not if you want to win. You, know, there's, uh, you never know. You can always make a comeback, but against Rio and Jamie, they're, they're not likely to drop that many points. Uh, and you don't know if that's just some of the nerves getting to them or the, the win they didn't see correctly, if it changed right at the last minute. Uh, but that definitely... It's a little bit painful to get some of those. Digging themselves a little bit of a hole right now. 
as Dominique Genet is well aware of that fact. He picked up a bronze medal with his mixed team in Turkey last year. So he's had success on the World Cup Tour. As the arrows are retrieved. And there you see the score, 39-36. It's a three-point lead. For the United States. After the first four arrows. During these time periods when they're retrieving the aerials and checking the scores, what's going through an archer's mind? Um, boy, it really depends. You know, some people really like to focus and kind of visualize their next shots, and then some people like to joke around and keep their mind off of the shooting. Um, mm -hmm. yeah. Usually, regardless, you're still going to be paying attention to the, the wind and what, what that's doing, whether that's changing. Adam. Janae with a strong start in the second end. His team trailing by three points Allez, Pascal. after that first end, 39-36. Now Lebec, currently ranked eighth in the Allez, world Pascal. and Allez, just outside the 10 ring with Allez, a nine. Jamie Van Atta, who defeated her teammate Erica Anschutz in the gold medal final That's an X. here in Shanghai <laughs> last year, continues to shoot well here in Shanghai. Let's go, Rio. And pleased with that shot. Shooting from 50 meters as opposed to yesterday when it was That's 70 meters for the recurve archers. And Rio drills another 10. Allez, it's active, ça s'engage. So the U.S. up by four points now, building on that lead midway through the second end. And Genet trying to help his cause, but the nine, when you're shooting nines and the other team shooting tens, doesn't work out very well. Make it hard. Sometimes they just can't catch. But there's a 10 for Pascal Lebec, who was a member of the silver medal mixed team in Shanghai last year. And finishing with the 10 puts a little pressure on the other team, and you, know, you never know what could happen in the next couple of shots. And there you go, just like you said, Jacob. Jacob Wookie, recurve archer for the United States, joining us here on our live shot for shot coverage of. The Archery World Cup Tour's first stage in Shanghai. Do the bells toll for Rio? I think they do. <laughs> Another 10 for Rio Wild. So we're at the midway point of this gold medal match in the mixed team competition. Compound round. And the United States going up by four points now, 68 to 64. So the USA, which led by three points after the first end, builds that lead up to four points right now. And Jamie and Rio, I'm sure, are feeling pretty good right now. You get up a couple of points and uh, you just feel a little more comfortable, the pressure's off a little bit, and you have to still shoot strong, but uh, you know, having a couple of points there definitely helps out with the confidence. And also, you know, coming out here from the practice field and being able to start out strong, um, you know, makes a big difference. So far, Team USA has only left two points out there on the playing field, and they lead it by 4, 78-74. And Rio Wild. So far in this match. Has been perfect. Rio has shot four bullseyes on his four attempts. And his teammate Jamie Van Atta right behind him. Two of her four shots have also found the center ring. As a result, the United States up by four points, vying for the gold medal in the mixed team competition. 
We'll see more of Real Wild, of course, later on today in the men's gold medal match. Third and about to begin with Dominique Genet, who was ninth at the World Championships in Torino last summer. And a good start for the French team. There's that sight as she lines up the shot, releases, <laughs> and back-to-back -back bullseyes for the French. Nice and calm. See the wind starting to blow them around a little bit there and Let's makes go, it Rio. tough to hold it in that 10 ring. We were talking about sometimes the group will just open up and sometimes that can be the wind as well as the pressure or just the wind. We've talked about how the wind affects the arrows. How does it affect the archers? You try to stand there and hold hold your position, hold your stance. Well, and that's what's interesting is a lot of times it'll just blow the archer but not the arrow and sometimes vice versa. Um, but definitely both of them can make a really big difference. Rio shooting at 10 after Venata's nine. Lee drops down to three, and the French keep shooting tens as Genet puts another bullseye on the board. And this could get interesting. And another 10, so four straight tens for the team from France, which appears to have it dialed in now. Most of the victories yesterday, as we went back and took a look at it, most of the victors were shooting at target number two, which is really protected a little bit more by the grandstand. The American team shooting at target number one. A little bit more exposed to that wind. There's a, a nine on the line. They'll have to check that. But right now, Rio Wild trying to maintain that lead for the United States, and he's outside the 10 ring with the nine, so only one bullseye in that end, and the plot doth thicken as the lead, which was up to four, is now down to one, at 115 to 114. So a lot of credit to the French for hanging in there, Jacob, and uh, battling back. Absolutely, in these matches, it is interesting how fast it can switch. So the United States, which led by three, after the first end, took a four-point lead at the midway point. And that four-point lead is now down to one, 115 to 114. And the wind really is changing, not to belabor the point, but it's changing from minute to minute, isn't it? It'll change arrow to arrow. Mm -hmm. So adjustments must be made. The wind must be compensated for. And the French trying to come from behind and pull off the upset. They're looking pretty, pretty happy about that end and hoping to keep it going. Do it. Do it. The team from Russia looking on. And again, you can see the flags fluttering in the wind here alongside the Wangpu River in downtown Shanghai. Now we really don't expect the wind to do anything but pick up as the day goes on. So here we go, heading down the stretch, fourth end, final end, it would appear. Tough to tell if that's on the line or not. Appear to be a nine. Bien solide sur la prochaine dame. Now it's Pascal Lebec, her first shot of this fourth and Pascal, final okay. end, and she's in the center ring. First shot was a nine for Dominique Genet, but Lebec with a ten, and Jamie Van Atta trying to answer. Ranks sixth in the world. 
And that's a nine as well. Let's go, Rio. Strong shots. Rio, who had to finish in the top three in Shanghai last year just to reach the finals in Istanbul, came up with that perfect score of 150 in his match with Dietmar Trillis. And he drills another 10. He enjoys shooting here in Shanghai. And we've still got a one-point lead for the United States as we head to the final two arrows. No margin for error for either team. Chenet raising the stakes. C'est grand, c'est fort. And if Lebec can come up with a bullseye, she'll really put the pressure on the United States to be perfect with their final two shots. And she does just that. So the French have done what they can do. Now it's up to the Americans. Ooh, Van Atta with an eight. Maybe an eight. And with that shot, the French have basically won Six this match. The match. They have won this match. All Rio Wild can do is shoot a 10, but that will leave the Americans one point short. He does just that. But Team France remarkably comes up with the victory as an eight spells the difference on the final shot for Jamie Van Atta. And the French hanging in there, hanging around, down by four, halfway through this match, battled back, took three points off the lead in the third end, and then came through with the victory in the fourth and final end. And so a bit of an upset as the uh, French come through. An upset and uh, you know, really quite an incredible comeback against some of the best archers in the world. So congratulations for Team France. As they pick up the gold medal, the United States will settle for the silver, 152 out of a possible 160 points for the United States. But it's not enough as Pascal Lebec and Dominique Chenet all smiles now. Those smiles weren't there about 15 minutes ago. No, they might add a little bit of a <laughs> knot in their stomach at that point.